night in my dreams i see you i feel you that is how i know you go You and your friends is in Japan on a vacation. You've been planning for a long time, and of course, you've been save up money too. And finally, you've made it. Which country next? Italy. Okay. So once we get back to Korea, let's start saving again. But before that, let's focus on our vacation now. Let's go. There are many more beautiful views there. You said and pull them somewhere and start taking pictures and videos. Wait, I need to use a toilet. Me too. How about you, Ryan? I just stay here. Take your time. As your friends left, while well, you're still busy taking pictures, when your attention goes to the souvenir store, as if the store is like calling you to come. You walk going there and your eyes landed on the bracelet. Your eyes can take away of the bracelet. As soon as you saw it, you immediately fall for the bracelet. So you decided to buy it. Excuse me, can I have this? Sure, but this is a couple bracelet, ma'am. You need to purchase the two. But I have no boyfriend. Can I buy just one? I'm sorry, ma'am, but you need to buy the two. But then someone stand beside you. As you notice, he was staring at the bracelet. Can I have this? Sure, but you have to buy the two pair since this is a couple bracelet. It's okay. Sorry miss, you already bought it. No, it's okay. You said and about to leave, but the stranger guy call you. Hi, you can have this since I have no girlfriend, but I really like the bracelet. Are you sure? Me too. I also really like the design. It looks like from the past. Yes, I'm sure. If that case, I will pay you half of the price, you said and get your wallet, but he insisted. No, you don't need to pay me, the stranger replied. It looks like you are embarrassed by him because he doesn't know you, but he gave you the bracelet. You look around and saw a coffee shop. Then I just treat you a coffee if you like. Well, that's better, he said and giggled. You walk to the coffee shop while talking about why you like the bracelet and you couldn't believe that you had the same answer. First, the shop seems to be calling you to come and first thing you notice is the bracelet and when you see it, you both fall in love with the bracelet. You talk as if you known each other for a long time and you feel at ease with each other. After buying a coffee, Jungkook took you to where your friends were. After that, he bid goodbye and left. Who's that YN? Uh, I don't know. You don't know but it looks like you two are so close. What is his name? Did you get his number? Oh shoot! I forgot to ask his name! Ah! You waste the chance! Then, why are you keep smiling like an idiot? 
Akira asked, since she saw you smiling while staring at the bracelet. Look, he gave me this to me, you said. Really? Let me see. Still, there's no other chance to meet him again. Let's go. You look back, but you can't see him again as you stare at the bracelet when your heart suddenly beats so fast and that time you want to see him again but you know there is no way bro when did you come back last night so how's your sister well i think she's happy with her husband she is happy but bro why it seems she looked down i met a girl in japan accidentally because of the bracelet and until now she can't get out of my mind japanese girl i don't know but i think not what's her name did you get her number Bro, I forgot to ask her name. Aish! Well, that's good. Yeah, remember, next week, you have a blind date with my cousin. But, bro, can I not go? Because I think I fell in love at first sight with the girl I met in Japan. Forget her. I need to go. Jimin, come down, my in is arrive. Jimin quickly go downstairs after knowing that you came, as he hugged you tightly. You two are cousins and very close to each other. You pass at the Seoul University together with your friends, and since you live in province, you need to move in Seoul. Your auntie, who's Jimin's mom, she herself offered you to live with them so you can save money and not pay rent for the apartment. So you agree, since you are close to them. Jimin, show to YN her room. Okay, YN, follow me. I saw your post on Instagram when you were in Japan last week. My best friend is also there to visit his sister. Opa. Hmm? How do you know that you are in love to a person? Wait, are you in love? I think so. I don't know. Maybe. But I always think of him. What's his name? I don't know. Huh? I mean, I met him in Japan but I forgot to ask his name or number. Then forget him. Remember, you have a blind date with my best friend this weekend. But, Opa, I didn't agree with that. It's too late, by the way. You need to wake up early tomorrow. It's your first day at the university. You came to the university with Jimin, but first you have to go to the administration office to hand over your documents. After that, you went straight to your class, but when you got there, the professor already came. Good morning, sir. You greeted him while you were standing in front of the door. Who are you? The professor asked. A new student, sir. Oh, come in. Class, we have a new student. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Kim YN. Okay, take a seat. Oh, just sit beside to Jungkook, the guy who is sleeping. As you saw a guy resting his head in the table, and his eyes are closed, 
you slowly pull the chair and sit down. When Jungkook suddenly opened his eyes because you accidentally bumped his chair. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Then you recognize him as you two got surprised and telling you in sync while pointing at each other. All of the students hear you two and look to the both of you until they saw you that you two are wearing a couple bracelet. Wait a minute, are you two dating? So you transfer here because your boyfriend is in this university. Wow, that's so sweet. You are about to answer him, but Jungkook pulled you closer to him and whisper. Just let them act like you don't hear them. You look at him and nod. Sorry girls, Jungkook has a girlfriend. Stop that. Focus on my lecture. Sorry, but I really, really want to ask your name. I'm Kim Wyan, and you? Jun Jun Cook. While Professor is busy lecturing, you are also busy exchanging numbers and laughing behind his back like you have your own world. Jungkook, Miss YN, you can go on a date later after my class. Understand? You too, Nad. You look at each other and chuckle. The news that you two are a couple is spread so fast in the university, but you were not affected. You just let it go as long as you enjoy both company. And because they were always so you together, they really believe that you two are a couple. Why in? You want to watch a movie this weekend? Weekend? I'm sorry my cousin set me for a blind date. Blind date? Don't go! Why? I'm jealous. Actually, I think I fall in love with you in Japan. Your mouth open hung as you stare at him. You also? What do you mean? I think I also feel the same way. Then you two just laugh. You talk about not showing up on a blind date. When Jimin found out about that, Jimin was angry with you, especially with Jungkook. So Jungkook has no choice but to talk to Jimin so that he could explain his side that he was in love with someone. But Jungkook was very surprised when he saw you at his best friend's house. Why and what are you doing here? I live in this house. You know her? She's my cousin, who should be your blind date. Wow, this is so amazing. I believe that we are destined for each other. Maybe our destiny used the bracelet as instrument, so we met. So, are you ready for our first date as an official couple? Yes, I'm ready. Goodbye, Auntie. Okay, enjoy your date. Wait! I don't understand. What's going on? I go. Obviously, they are dating. Uh huh? How did that happen? Chim asked their destiny. The end. Thank you for watching, Kobe.